draw the graph of f of x equals 1 half to the x minus 5. So to draw this graph, what we need to understand is that this particular graph has a reflection in it. And the reason I know there's a reflection is because when I have f of x equals 1 half to the x minus 5, I can rewrite this so that this base 1 half could be written as 2 to the negative 1 power, which makes this base 2 to the negative x. And since my x has a negative in front of it, that's a reflection. And it's going to be a reflection about the y or vertical axis. So anyway, we have a vertical shift here. So this vertical shift, what it does is it moves everything down five units. So normally we would have a horizontal asymptote at zero, but everything's getting moved down five units. So we would have a vertical asymptote along here. Now, the next thing is uh, the graph normally would have a point that is one unit above the asymptote on the y-axis. But if there are any vertical, any horizontal shifts or any reflections, that can be changed. So in this case, um, since there's a reflection but no horizontal shift, um, and this reflection is about the y-axis, the only thing that's going to do here is it's going to make the shape of the exponential look like this instead of where it would normally look like this. Okay, so we just need to make sure we understand that that's the effect of this reflection. Okay, so to graph it online, just make sure your exponential function tool is selected, hover over the graph, and choose where the uh, horizontal asymptote would be at negative 5, then pick the point one unit above the the asymptote, and usually we would go to the right one and up one, but because it's the negative x, we're going to go back one and up one. And this is still base 2, but it's reflected instead. So when you hit submit, you should get the right answer.